Hello, welcome to this beginner tutorial on Vegas Pro 21, a fantastic video editing software for video production for Windows computers. With Vegas Pro, you can edit videos, create stunning slideshows, and apply great visual effects, including color grading, transitions, and text templates. In this video, we will run Vegas Pro 21 on a NUC 12 Enthusiast Kit computer from Intel. Check out our video description to get offers and discounts on Vegas Pro. When you open Vegas Pro, the welcome screen opens with several options to get you started. On the right side, you get the video project options such as the aspect ratio of 16 to 9 for YouTube or 9 to 16 for TikTok, as well as frame rate and resolution up to 4K. You can also tune these properties with advanced settings. At this point, go to Create Project to start from an empty project or go to Open an Existing Project to continue with any work you have in progress. The Vegas Pro Project opens on the main interface with several panels on the left side, the video preview on the right, and the project timeline at the bottom. You can also close any panel you do not need and reopen it later by going to View Window. You can import videos, images, and sound files by dragging and dropping these onto the timeline. These get displayed as blocks, called clips or events, placed within rows called tracks. Video tracks collect visual content like videos and images, with frame thumbnails on these. Audio tracks include sound content, showing one sound waveform for each audio channel recognized. In the Project Media panel, you find all the imported media files, with also the option to open Vegas Capture to record from your webcam and microphone. On Vegas Pro 21, you can also generate speech from tools, text-to-speech, as long as you own a subscription plan. Just drop the sentences you like, select the voiceover and the proper language, and several settings including style, speed, and pitch. Go to Generate Speech to hear the result. Welcome to the Skills Factory. This is very outstanding. At this point, you can import it in Project Media or directly as a sound clip on the timeline. In the same way, you can select any sound clip and go to Speech to Text to auto-detect its transcription. To check your timeline content, you can zoom in around the video playback with your mouse wheel and move through time by clicking and dragging from the top of the timeline. You can also take a look at the video preview, showing the video frame under the playhead. You can also click on the timeline to move it and check another frame, or simply click and drag it to see multiple frames together. To play back in real time, use the player buttons instead. To quickly review any clip content while editing, you can also click and drag above the timeline to create a blue loop region so that you check the frames as you move. You can also enable loop playback at the bottom to continuously play back the content within such region. Below the video preview, you get the chosen options for the final video in white color and the video preview settings in red, showing video width, height, and frame rate in order from left to right. You can go to Project Video Properties to adjust the final video options and to Preview Quality to adjust the video preview, especially if you experience any lag. On the left side, you get several options to manage your track's content. Use the M Mute to disable any track content, such as making visual content transparent and muting any audio whereas use S to solo any track, muting all the others. On video tracks, you can adjust the opacity level 
and on audio tracks both the volume and the panning to balance stereo channels in output. Make sure to check the decibel meter to avoid red levels of distortion from excessive volume. Now let's see how to edit the clips on the timeline with the normal edit tool enabled. Click on any clip to select it and drag it to move it in time or into a different track. If you move any video with audio, you can also make these independent by selecting these and pressing the U key. If clips overlap in time, the clip located in the top video track appears in front of the other clips in lower tracks. Therefore, the video tracks set the order of visibility of these clips properly. To cut, copy, or paste selected events, use Ctrl and X, Ctrl and C, and Ctrl and V. If you have any loop region active, these actions will only affect the content within it. Remember to use Ctrl and Z to undo. To split any clip, place the playhead in the correct instant of time and press the S key. To adjust the length of any clip, just drag its edges. If you make it shorter, you remove part of its content, and if you make it longer, it loops every time a gray marker appears on top. To adjust this length without affecting content, you can change the playback speed by dragging the clip edges while holding down control. For example, if you shorten the clip, this becomes faster with the same audio pitch. You can also change the clip pitch by right-clicking on the clip and going to Properties, enabling Lock to Stretch. Now let's see how to apply outstanding visual effects with Vegas Pro. You can adjust opacity or volume uniformly in time by pulling down the blue handle on top of any clip. To apply special visual effects, open the Video FX window. Vegas Pro 21 now includes outstanding AI effects, including Smart Mask, Upscale, Z Depth, Bezier Masking, Up to Color Grading. To add an effect, just drag and drop it onto any clip. This also opens the Video Event FX window, showing all the effects added to your clip in a chain, in order, from left to right. You can select any effect to edit its properties while previewing the changes. The first and default effect is called Pan Crop, used to set how the clip shall appear on your video by adjusting the rectangular F camera. You can move it, resize it to apply zooms, or crop the clip if you also disable lock aspect ratio on the left. To retrieve the video event FX window, make sure to click on the event pan crop button on clips. Now Vegas Pro includes Mocha Vegas, an outstanding professional motion tracking tool. Once you launch its Mocha UI, you can enable its layer tool to define the reference region to track on the video, even the most complex one. Once done, click on Track to start the motion track forward or backward in time, and enable Show Surface to define the surface that will be used to place another media. At this point, close the Mocha UI by going to Save and go to Tracking Data. Create Track Data to select a layer contour. Finally, go to Apply Export and select the media to apply on the tracked surface. Here is the result. Vegas Pro includes other outstanding effects from Boris FX Continuum, powered by the magic of AI. For example, you can apply BCC Primat Studio to remove any green screen and add your own background. Just click on Auto Analyze to let the tool work for you and refine the result as you need. To learn more about the newest effects and get discounts for Boris FX Continuum, make sure to catch our dedicated links in the video description. Vegas Pro also allows you to add adjustment events to apply the same effect chain 
on multiple clips placed on lower tracks. Just right-click on any video track and go to Insert Adjustment Event. Then, add all the needed effects on such clip. You can also apply amazing transitions. Drag from the top corners of a clip to create crossfade transitions that change opacity or volume level on it. Moreover, you can open the transition panel to get the entire list of stunning transitions you can drag and drop onto any clip. Make sure to click on Transition Properties to refine their settings if necessary, and adjust the transition speed through its length in time. Now let's see how to add text. Open the Media Generator panel to import credit rolls, titles, and text by dragging and dropping any template onto the timeline. This generates a text clip that you can edit just like any other event. Go to Generated Media to adjust content, font properties, color and transparency, and transform text directly from the video preview. You can also apply animations. Just make sure to set the text clip speed to match the animation speed you want. Save your project with File. Save as in a VEG file format that you can retrieve any time. To render your project and obtain your final video, go to File, Render As. On the left, choose the main format, for example, Magix AVC to export an MP4 video for YouTube or MP3 audio to render the audio content alone. On the right, pick any ready template and go to Customize to refine options like video size, resolution, frame rate, and much more. Once you are ready, click on Render. By default, this exports your entire timeline content. If you want to export only a specific part of your project, just define a loop region on it and check the box on Render Loop Region only before exporting your video. This is all you need to know to start with Vegas Pro. Thank you very much for watching this video, and don't forget to visit our channel and website for more tips, tricks, and tutorials completely for free.